Uh, I worked at Vulcan um, since summer 2012, and uh, I have so many memories that I can't capture here and would have to write a book or a script um, <laughs> to remember them. Um, but it was such, you know, the the best job I, I've ever had, and uh, you know, the job that I've I've always that I've wanted to continue to have, and I'm I'm very sad that I can't anymore, and that it, the store is um, finally closing, and I have a lot of emotions that I'm still trying to process. And once life restarts, it's going to be it's going to be very weird to go back to a world that doesn't have um, Vulcan. And um, you know the real so many friends and coworkers and stuff, but I have to really give it up to the great managers that I served under at Vulcan, um, Kristen and Brian and Greg and um, even AJ, though uh, <laughs> he wasn't manager for too long, um, and he was before my time. But Joe Shivers, I knew him as a customer and not as a manager, but you guys were the ones that really made Vulcan video great and, um, you know, made me be a better person or a better clerk and a better movie fan. And, you know, we didn't always see eye to eye and, um, the, both, both praise and criticism that I said to your face and behind your back, uh, you know, it was all, it was all from the heart and it's, um, it's a real fucking bummer to um, to not see them and under uh, professional circumstances anymore. And there's been so many great uh, friends that I've made and coworkers that I've had that um, you know. Again, it's anyone anyone can watch a lot of movies, but you know, it's this working at Vulcan is this interesting mix of of knowledge and pleasantness and you know being a retail clerk and stuff and just be being a good human being you know just good customer service that was what what put us well I, you know i think made us special because you know especially after a certain time we tried to not live down to that stereotype of the the snotty uh you know clerk or the, you know the 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 person who would which would, would say negative stuff or anything, you know, it was, it was inviting like, hey, you haven't seen this movie? I'm so happy for you. You're going to get to watch it. Let's talk about it when you come back and stuff. And it always sucked when there was a, a bad apple in the bunch who, um, who was a jerk or an asshole to customers and stuff. But um, more often than not, that was not the case. And so, especially now that I'm now that we're all confined to our homes, uh, I just want to, you know, reach out with love and respect and admiration to, you know, my friends and coworkers who I'm not going to remember everyone's name, but uh, Kristen and uh, Ryan Connolly, uh, Brian Cobbs, Wilson, Chris, Robert, Danny, Luke, Neil, Tony, Shirley, uh, I hope you guys are doing good, uh, AJ, Jenny, Ben. Miles, Tiffany, Leah, Jasmine, uh, Tim, Carrie, Rocky, Sammy, uh, Mike, Hunter, uh, Stephen Krause, Ekram, Layla, Nathaniel, Brian and Susan. Welcome back to Austin. I'm so glad you're here again. I forgot that I got to see you recently. Uh, Spencer, Blaine, uh, Hannah, I hope you're doing well. Riley, uh, Stephen Griebel, I haven't talked to you in a long time. Hope you're good. Nick, Dana, Adam, mm -hmm. JT, Ileana, Janet. Tommy, Andy, Jared, Dana, Claudia, uh, Bailey, Tiernan. I'm sorry you guys just uh, started working here. And now this, Jay, the same. Uh, other Bailey. <laughs> yeah, we had uh, we had multiple odd names. Uh, I'm sure I'm, I'm accidentally forgetting uh, some others or people I knew only when I was a customer. But, um, you know, you know, it, even the best job, if you're working with someone or under someone who's a total piece of shit, it can be the worst. And um, thankfully, more often than not, that was not the case at Vulcan. You would uh, you would like the people that you were working with, 
and um, and it would be just a great time. Even when we were slammed on like Fridays and Saturday nights, and there'd be three people to a shift and long lines and stuff. And there would be that, you know, oh, that pressure, but uh, I, I, I grew to love it and enjoy it. And, um, you know, doing a project or, uh, or just, just actively, you know, working and not feeling like this is a job where I have to watch the clock tick um, and have the time pass. But, you know, just be able to be engaged in the, the great hell <laughs> of uh of working at vulcan and being it's just a movie fan in general is it's never enough there's always one more you gotta watch one more you're finding out about and you know doing the shelves there'd always be something like oh i still haven't seen communion well fuck i gotta rent that or uh you know i need to to watch these four things on tape because i can't watch candy mountain any other way um or the the pan and scan cut of pat garrett and billy the kid um, and now my life is just uh, going to be regret for all the things that I saw every day, uh, every week, and never watched and always meant to, and they would always be there, or so I thought. Um, and, uh, you know, we thought, we thought that Volker would stand and last forever, um, even though we really didn't. Like, you know, every day was kind of precious for a video store. In the 21st century, um, Netflix and other streaming services have, you know, grown so strong um, and so prevalent. Blockbuster and other physical places have died. Kim's Video, like, that was that was a real fucking, like, you know. If Kim's can't stand, you know, we're, we're lucky to be alive. And, um, but, you know, but we were special. Uh, and really, every video store is special. So if you're watching this or you're not in Austin, you're near a video store like Scarecrow, like Videodrome, like so many others. Uh, you know, please go, please support them. Um, make sure that that they don't die. Video Vortex, you know, still. Um, and yeah, I just uh, it's a it's a bummer, a sad, inevitable thing. Um, but the circumstances make it really all the worse. Um, it's like if your grandfather is, you know, he's old, he's, he's sick, he's your grandpa. You know that, you know, he's not gonna be there when you turn 50, but, uh, but then he gets hit by a bus. Like, you know, the end result is the same, he's passed away, but it's the how and the why and the, the abruptness and like, oh, you know, he just, he just pulled through that last operation, so. Anyway, uh, thank you for your time. And, uh, you know, I think Sean O'Neill recently said it best, like, Vulcan Video is dead, but long live Vulcan Video. And um, I hope we keep talking about it and the behind the scenes and the good and the bad and the fun stuff, um, you know, for a while to come, because still a lot of memories and I still have a lot of movies to watch. Thanks a lot. Lars, I'm so sorry that you have to edit all this and that I delivered it so late. Uh, you can tell my throat's real fucked. Um, but I hope, I hope this was something. All right. Bye.